Welcome everyone to my 100th video. Please enjoy. Welcome back to Dulcie's Creations. My name is Dulcie and this is my crafting channel. Today's project is an ostrich and duck egg. First time I've ever worked with a duck egg. It is an abstract lamp and the inspiration came from a wooden piece on Pinterest. So I hope you enjoy. Remember to leave me some comments. Let me know what you thought of the project and I will see you all very soon. Please enjoy. Bye for now. Right, so as you would have seen in the time loop, the time lapse, I um, was carving out the, the egg. Um, I didn't recall the whole thing because it did take me quite a while because of all these fine bits that you did see me do. I then took it inside and put it into some um, vinegar and I always put a little bit of bleach in it. And because of all these fine cuts, I knew it was going to be a little bit difficult to wash it out properly so much so I'm still actually taking out little bits of pieces of the membrane here. But unfortunately, this bit broke. So I'm going to try and glue it on and see if I can actually have it there you go for now all I'm going to do is I'm going to try and take out these little bits that you can see through the carvings which will just annoy me if I can see them washing it and I always use a little toothbrush to help me scrape off I did know that these parts were going to be very uh, oh I cannot think of the words but anyway so I had to use very little force on this and yeah so this is the first stage this is going to have several stages in it and um, I'm not quite sure yet what colors I'm going to do so I don't want to paint anything just yet like I said I think the next step first is going to be to glue this down and then work on what I'm going to do on the inside now as you can see let me see just show you there you go so it curves that way there you go so the idea is actually to put something else on the inside that comes just slightly higher than these bits but I haven't quite formulated it in my head I did also think uh, I just saw where's my goose oh there is I've also got this goose egg that if you recall I cut it out from the bell I did so this is left behind <gasps> if I don't break it before then I am planning on carving it oops pretty much like I've done these bits and putting it on the inside in there so that is one of the ideas running through my head but we'll see how that goes. So for now, I'm going to stick this down and I will come back to you. I 
have now done, this is a little duck egg that you would have just seen me poke a bunch of holes into it. Very fragile. I've never worked with a duck egg before. This would be the first one. So I want to put it in there. But now I'm thinking I need to start deciding on colors. Um, mm. And then what I also did, this is a bit of ostrich egg off cuts from different ones that I've done. And I did do, draw the, well, cut, sort of cut those lines into it and then did all the, all the, the cuts, carving, I don't know what to really call it. And now I want to put this on the inside there. Of course, everything is still moving around. I need to just figure out is how I'm going to hold it. Now, originally I had said I wanted to do something that would have been taller than all of this. But I don't have any long pieces, everything like I've got this piece here. But it's not really that much taller. So I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. But I like the effect this one will have in there. Just there you go it's very difficult because everything is just loose so obviously you know there's no grip to it but now what I definitely need to do is I need to decide what colors I want to do and what am I going to do in the plain part am I just going to leave them plain am I going to carve something on them it's another one of those that is going along as I just do it All right, so I'm going to, I think, sit back a bit and look at it and decide what exactly I want to do and especially what colors do I want to use. I do, however, think that the duck egg, I might leave white. I think it will be absolutely beautiful. And the other thing I want to do, and I don't know how I'm going to take out the membrane from the duck egg because generally the eggs are open so I can peel them off not quite sure how I'm going to do it in this one so I'm going to put it in water with a little bit of vinegar and leave it overnight and hopefully it will dissolve it and in the meantime I will think about what colors to use right so I have decided on the colors I am going to use I'm going to do the inside Rich. Yeah, we just move the camera. There you go, that's better. Right. So the inside, I am going to use some black, Amsterdam black. And once that is dry, I'm going to give it a coat of this Arteza fancy black as it's called, but it's got this gold color tinge to it. On the outside, I am going to give these plain ones. I'm going to do it in this beautiful, oops, Lumiere um, Halo Violet Gold. I think many of you that have been watching my videos regularly will know this is one of my absolute favorite colors. And then on the carved ones, ever so lightly, I want to give it um, just a brush of, so that will include this one also. Um, I want to use the pearl, so it's this one. So I'm going to first give it a brush of white, and then I'll give it a brush of the pearl. And then, as I said earlier on, the duck egg will be white and that pearl also. So it will be gorgeous on the inside, especially with the black. Um, with this one, obviously on this side, I will do it black. And on that side, I will do it with the white. So that it doesn't contrast too much when it's on the inside. Right. So as I'm just going to be painting, there's no point in um, just recording it. I'm just going to put you on a time lapse. And we can watch and we can do the painting. See you in a few.
this is all painted as is my duck egg and now what I've done is I've decided that this one is going to go well I asked Jim to come out and give me some some help so it's not just me trying to figure this out so this one I'm going to put it just in there and then the egg in the front now what I want to do is I'm going to oops mix some two-part epoxy and then I'm going to add some black glue to a uh, black paint to it once it's actually all nice and mixed so that it actually blends in with the background and it's not just I mean you always see it but I, I prefer it to be totally blended in so we're coming to an end we, we're slowly reaching the end of this project I'm surprised how quickly it has gone and knock on wood so far only two breakages maybe I've just jinxed myself but let's hope not um, so yeah so that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to mix this all up nicely mix a little bit of paint in it and to be very fair I do not know what the reaction will be with this and paint because I've never done it before so we'll have to see that it will be okay and then I am going to put it into the egg and of course got to be very careful so that none of those little bits break all those pointy parts break Let's just hope it will be all fine. So what I'm going to do first, just going to, because I've drawn a little line in the egg in pencil. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I just want to put a little bit in there. Sorry, you won't be able to see in here, but... Now I'm going to put a whole lot of it at the bottom here. That's the bit that's going to be touching the egg and holding on. Okay, folks, let's hope this works and it will actually harden and stick. Okay, and I want it leaning a little bit forward. So this by right is five minute epoxy. Um, it should start to harden obviously because I haven't put you on a time lapse this is all going to be sort of full recording but when I edit I'll obviously just put this bit on a time lapse okay so this actually stuck really well let me turn it around so you can see it. Here you go. So from the outside what you would see is that. You can see it on both ends. Which is pretty good. Now what I've decided to do is over here in this spot. I I had this bit already cut because it's one of my cut um, pieces that. Um, what do you call it? Cut. Off cuts, that's the word, off cuts. So I had this one, and I had this one, but I thought this one is just far too big for what I want to do. So I've painted it, well, I carved it, and I've painted it, and I'm going to put it over here. Let me turn it around so you can see it oh, from this side. So I'm going to put it just there. 
There you go. So we're going to glue that one down. And then I am going to glue the egg down. So I will bring you back once all that is done. Okay, so I have put it all together. The only thing I have not done is glued it to the base it's going to be sitting on. But I want to just show you. Okay, so there's that last bit I just stuck on. There's the egg. I do hope it's stuck on straight because I can't move it. I did try to. So now, what I need to do is I'm just going to stick the whole egg onto this base, but I want to show you. There you go. Now I'm sure in the dark it's going to look a lot better than what it is right now. I'll try and close the blinds and um, all the lights, but I'm sure only once I've done a video um, in the dark will we get the proper effect but let's see what happens there you go that's every single light I've got in my craft haven off and that is the result but please do stay to the very end so that you can see a video of it on my little turntable and um, I will obviously do a short one um, during the day and then I'll do one tonight or tomorrow night with the lights on so please do do definitely stay to the very end I've absolutely loved doing this project now I did say a couple of videos ago that I was going to put out a challenge to one of my fellow crafters and my challenge goes out to Steve McDonald. He has had an ostrich egg that I sent him a couple of years ago for his birthday. And he's been too afraid to do anything with it. So Steve, here is my challenge. I want to see that ostrich egg done, completed, get something done. Either do it alone or we can do it as a collaboration. But that is my challenge for it to be done before the end of 2022. Thank you everyone so very much for being here with me. Please remember to like, subscribe, press that notification bell so you're notified of all the upcoming projects. And remember, wherever in the world you might be, please stay safe, stay well, and I will see you all very soon. Bye for now.